Hey guys, it's Jasmine here with Aesthetics Factory and while I'm doing a few things today, I'm going to go ahead and kill a few birds with one stone and I'm going to show you guys how to get a texture shot. Let's see what it do. All right guys, so we have a few things here. I have my lights, my product here, and so there's a few different kind of texture shots that we can take here. I'll be taking them with my phone and I'll edit them just to show you how they come out because you can do this with a phone, you can do this with a camera, but you don't need it. So a texture shot can be anything that just gives your audience a full feel for the texture, okay? So this is why sometimes I don't like to do perfect piping because sometimes people just like to see the raw product. That's a good angle right there. So basically you just get up close and personal and you go ahead and take the shot and you can take a few with a few different angles and you just really want to get up in there. So that's texture shot number one. So for this texture shot, we're going to be using two different types of products. We're going to be using more of a creamy texture and more of a scrub texture is what I'll call it. These are good too. If you ever want to get a texture shot from up top, just really quick, I'll do this one for you guys too. You just get in nice and close and you kind of proposition the product to look however you want it to do. Sometimes just without the, there being any sort of like piping or crown, you just get like, you basically clear off the top of your product and then you just do an overhead type of shot like that. Take the picture and that's a pretty nice one. You can do the same thing with them. Um, with scrubs as well. So we have two different types of textures that we're working with. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna be using a small utensil. Sometimes like de cake decorating utensils are the best. And what you're gonna do is I have a clear, I have a white um, paper like background and then I have a plastic cover over it so that it doesn't soak into the paper because that's the worst when that happens. And it's gonna basically ruin the shot, okay? So you get a little bit on here and then you kind of create like a smudge or smear pattern. Okay, and this, now I will be honest, this does work better if you do have a higher definition camera. You can get closer and you can really see everything super defined. And then I'm gonna get some of the cream one. And you're basically gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put it on there and then just kind of smear. And you can do kind of whatever design you want, but people, like the simpler you are with these, the better. You can do like multiple swipes. Same thing with the other one. You can kind of, just as long as you're not, you don't mess it up like I just did, there you go. And you can do two different kinds of texture shots right here. So we're gonna get in a little bit closer. We're gonna try to line these up perfectly. Hold on one second. I'm gonna try to get our lighting a little bit better in here. That's what's great about these lights is you can really move them around wherever you need them to go. But just as I always say with photography, be mindful of your shadows. Make sure that your camera isn't blocking your light. And it kind of differentiates here. So I'm actually gonna get this shot with my camera just to show you guys, because that's what's gonna ultimately be the best thing. Let's get the point across, and we waste no time when it comes to our photography, even if it's just for samples like this. So with my camera, I'm gonna adjust my settings. There's one shot. There's another, and I kind of prefer this to do outdoors in the sunlight. This just looks better, but it can still look great in here. And shot. And you can always do it like straight on overhead. I just can't show you guys that specifically right now because of the lighting that we chose in here and because of the fact that um, the, camera, the phone, camera phone isn't gonna be the best one. And that's how you get a good little texture shot. Just to basically um, 
incite feelings in your customers. Like they get to feel your product through their visual as they see it. It's like some pictures, if they're good, taken well enough and you can see that texture, the creaminess, the scrubbiness, the jelliness, whatever it is that your product has, it makes it that much more appealing to your customer. And they're a lot of fun to take because they really, the camera doesn't always catch um, exactly how great your products are, for lack of better words. And so the texture shots can really help to give your customers more of an experience even before they buy. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys like it or if you have any more questions. You know I have my classes that you can sign up for at aestheticsfactory.com to get more in-depth information on how I do my product photography and recommendations on how to make your product photography really hit and sell that much better. All right guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.